Okay, we agree. We're different. We have no ball or goal to put it in. We pass, but we don't hand off or punt, and we never call a timeout. We don't win unless we finish, and we don't always finish. This is no game, because we don't play, we race. Racing at the most normal track the uh, NASCAR Cup Series goes to, at least uh, in this game, New Hampshire, million three hundred. It's going to be a good time, I think. We uh, have uh, really uh, stepped up uh, our uh, equipment, and we're ready to go. I'm thinking we're having a good time. So, chassis, chassis one, uh, engine one, it's fresh out of the shop, and body three is still better than body two for some reason. I don't know why. It's car running sixty five, and we're going to have some a good time. Let's try to keep our top 10 streak going. Let's go qualifying. Off turn four, first lap 27.58. Get number for six. This one should be a little bit better. Let's see. Ooh, 27.53. Four. Damn it. Why is it still on the outside? I would have rather taken fifth. <laughs> Damn it. And I missed it by three one thousand of a second or by, by, by Bobby Bonnie. That's. Uh, well, you know what? I can't complain. I gotta deal with it. It's a good. It feels good uh, for a short run. We'll see how it does in the long run. Let's get this race underway. Jamar Barney Hall, take it away. Joe Moore and Barney Hall welcoming you to Loudoun, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. What can we expect to see today, Barney? This is a tough track for a lot of drivers. These long straights allow the cars to build up a lot of speed before some hard braking going into the flat corners. The 83 car really stepped it up in qualifying this week. Yeah, this should give that whole team a little boost. They've been struggling in qualifying week after week, but it looks like they're trying to turn things around. I'm proud of these guys. We really haven't seen a good finish this season from Casey Mears. Boy, that's the truth. That makes it even harder to focus on race day. He needs a good finish today to regain some confidence in himself. Jerry Labonte doesn't seem to have a handle on qualifying for the speedways this year. Yeah, that can really be a huge letdown for your self-confidence as a driver. You know you're a good driver, you have a strong car, but it just seems that nothing ever goes your way in qualifying. Makes it tougher to focus on the job at hand come race day. Starting the race from row 13 will be 
Starting from row 15 will be the 49 car and the target dodge. In the 16th row are the Cheerios Dodge and the Hooters Ford. In the 17th row are the America Online Chevrolet and the Otoban Ford. In the 18th row are the Kellogg Chevrolet and the Dr. Pepper Dodge. Starting the race from row 19 are the Kodak Max Film Pontiac and the Georgia Pacific Dodge. The 20th row has the David Green Pontiac and the Valvoline Pontiac. Starting the race from row 21 will be the Pennzoil Chevrolet and the O2 car. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the Granger Ford. New Hampshire. Let's do it. And they drove in a lot deeper than I could. That was crazy. Like, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson, they just blew by me without a problem. And now Mark Morris is trying to get by me on the inside. The one thing I have to do is make sure to keep the inside line. Otherwise, I'm going to drop like a rocket. It's like Martinsville. Like, you have to, like, make sure you keep the bottom lane, or else you're going to drop spots like crazy. Alright. So, I may have lost these spots from the start, but that was, like, for good reason, I feel like. Because I do not want to feel like, uh... I do not want to, like, uh be like as far down as I was like I just want to get to the bottom is really all I want to do so I did lose another spot to Mark Martin but uh as long as I like you know keep the car on the bottom and make sure like it, it sticks there I think I'll be okay so we'll see how that goes Why is Stewart's front end all busted up? I don't understand that. And my car feels real tight now. Uh, it, it does not. I gotta loosen. I gotta like adjust the wedge again because it's not. It feels too tight now. I gotta adjust it and make sure it's on pit stop so I can like you know make it turn a little better. Like it's not. It, you know like I no it's sliding through the corner. I four was it four wide a little bit up the corner? That's ridiculous. Man, this car just sucks at a short track like this. I can't do it. It's it's not. It's got nothing right now. For the rest of these guys, like I tried to adjust it as best as I could, and, and like I tried the best adjust I could think of, and it's just not doing anything for me. I'm doing the very best I can. I promise you, I'm giving you everything I got, man. I'm trying every trick in the book that I know. Oh man, I've fallen way behind. I'm just hard back to 18 since the start. Like five laps in, I'm back to 18. Like I. It's, my, it's probably where I should be because, like, you know, that's where I was like before I got on like a um, huge, like, great top ten run string streak of uh, running like the win in Finian and sixth at Daytona, ninth at uh, Chicago Land. I mean, that that was a good run, but I think it's time to get to norm normality. I think <laughs> normality where I should be this season anyway. Let's hope no, something different. I my spoken is different where like, you know, the short tracks are like my weakness right now and the big tracks are much better for me. I don't know, Pocono I'm really excited for honestly, because you know, we had a good we had a good car. We just didn't have the right adjustments in the first run, the second run was a lot better. So I'm looking forward to going back there now I have a right a good setup for it. Kurt, what the f you know I'm down here, dummy. Jeez. I don't care that you, I don't care I didn't get the track, dude. That, that's ridiculous. The tires are really starting to wear out already. The front up tires are just are about to be gone already. That's actually not good. Oh god. I The problem with my car is I need to break a lot sooner than 
a lot of these other guys, because I'm gonna spin the car out if I don't. Outside, pull away from Crippler, so like, a little bit of reason, so I can relax and try to focus. The next car is playing at the end of lap 12, so that'll be interesting to see how they help they can go 18 laps. Um, so the cycle pit stops begins about, it looks like close to a third of the field or more, maybe put it there, so I'm... So, that's a big uh, gap of cars that did hit, so... I'll be playing soon, it's gonna be a couple laps, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll make sure to get quick stop in, hopefully. And if Kirk could stop running into me, like, I'd be able to run a little bit, I think. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to aid down. Uh, third over speed, 70, slow down, slow down, slow down, we're good. I think it's a decent run so far, honestly. Is I seriously about to wait for Johnny Benson to get out of his pit box? What the hell? Game. I I'm tired of like getting held up by guys that I don't need to get held up by. I'm tired of it. Like I don't want. I'm... Let me like race like I want to. Damn it! Oh my god, we're about to see a bunch of cars in trouble here. Trying to pit here. Go high, go. High. Okay, we're already going to want pit apparently. That's fantastic. What are we doing, guys? Like seriously, like this is absolute ridiculous chaos right now. I'm doing. I'm in the middle of right now. And there's Steve Clark. I gotta be sure beat him for the rest of this race. Damn it. Roddy Gordon's on old tires, so I don't think he has paid, so... At least I know I can beat him before the race is over. I made a decent pass for once, and that was on Johnny Benson. And uh, the four of Ashton Lewis is uh, pretty slow, honestly, because he's got a slow car. Oh boy. Slow down, damn it. Oh man, I missed the breaking point. My breaking point. And Benson's gonna pass back by me. Cross more, cross more, come on. There we go, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, alright. It's probably gonna get back to me here in the middle of the corner, but I can get the run off, so. Now I can just focus. We're still a lap down because not everyone's paid for some reason because I guess some of the AI drivers like didn't let some didn't let others pit, which is kind of which makes this race really like bogus and really complicated. All right, so we're finally back on lane lap. Feels like it's been a while since I've actually been able to say that, and it's because it really has been. Like I'm like. Someone went like 23, 24 last, or 22, I think 22 last without being able to hide in the pit, and I think that's because AI drivers were really stupid. Jared blew up, oh my goodness, that's a free spot, thank you. Oh my goodness, for once I get a free spot because of someone blowing up. I'm actually glad for that, so, it'd be top 25 no matter what. Who is all the way on the bottom of the track right there on the front stretch, that was weird. Is that like Murray? Jeez, dude, what are you doing? Okay, well... There, move on and hit the wall, damn it, for the first time this race. I thought I, I thought I uh, had enough. I thought I like made sure I exit the corner properly, but whatever. Oh my gosh, I missed the breaking point again. All right, whatever. Focus, focus. We can try to get another spot too for our silver. There it is. Alright. We're just taking my flag right now.
It looks like Dale Jr. has been down in the car all day here in Hampshire. As the points leader, he's going to have to extend his points lead. Oh, no. Hang on. No. Oh, my God. No. No. Are you joking me? Damn it. That. Fantastic. 33rd. Doing a hard day's work down the toilet. It's always next week. Of all things I could have done on the last lap is do that. I still could have gone on their lap. Good job, Junior. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, there weren't too many battles up front for position. Those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. The 83 car really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. Well, it's going to be a happy crew when they get back to the shop. They can immediately go to work on next week's car without having to worry about fixing anything from this race, and that makes for a much less stressful atmosphere. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. We'll see you next week at Pocono. Just... That, I, I had no words for why I, what I did in the last lap. That car, I thought I had a good shot at, I had a shot at top 25, again, and that just, that was, to, I totally botched it. I, I don't know what to say, I botched it, like, I, I tried everything I could to save it and came for it, and it just came around me. That's like, that's just so stupid of me. I, you know what? As bad as that car was driving, though, it felt, it felt good for at least 28 laps, so, I mean. <sighs> man, I felt good. It felt like I was gonna get that 24 spot in the lap before that's the life flag. Maybe like maybe getting one more spot on Mayfield. I don't think I was too close on get some, but man, it just sucks. Everything but the associate spots, like the Steve Park boost at the end. That's you know what? Steve, I was gonna beat Steve Park too, of course, and he passed us at the end because I spun it out. Let's get out of here. You know, I, as much as I want to be pissed off about the fact that I explained it out, like, you know, we had a good run the whole, the whole time, and maybe I found something for, like, when I come back there in, in the, in a couple months, so, I mean, you know, I can't be too mad about it. Back to shop and sun races, and, uh, we'll start, uh, keep with an overhauling thing. 182 thousand two races, does it do anything? No, it doesn't, so let's go to two races instead and save some money on it. Um, the engine is still have to use the next race, Pocono. Why is this, why is this, uh, still better than the last one? I might as well, I might as well try to overhaul this one and see if we can do any better on this thing. You know what, I'll do it, let's do it. So I start with two races, it'll go up pretty high too, so I might as well. And, uh, we'll use, uh, the other body for another couple races, so I'll use it for, tank, for Pocono and the Brickyard. So, might as well. I, I could have done Sierra, but I don't care, I might as well do it now. Um, and that changed paint screen again, I just realized that. Junior's point lead increased to 53 over Stewart, and Dale Jarrett lost a lot because he finished the uh, heat DNF. Oh boy. Dropped to 20, or still 22nd points actually, I don't think we lost any spots to Benson. Oh, yeah, we were, we were, you know, we were finishing ahead of Benson. We were going to until we spun out on last lap. Uh, oh well. We lost a lot of ground on McMurray and Benson, so, but we'll try uh, to, Make up that ground as we, uh, we're gonna head to, uh, yeah, Pocono. And, uh, hopefully, uh, a little luck be on our side this time around because we did pretty well last time, honestly, with the fall and all that stuff. So, let's have some fun there. Uh, thanks for watching uh, this race, which was, which was, uh, marred by a, which was uh, unfortunately, like, busted by a last lap, uh, mistake. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.